So it's been a while since I've done a packing video and you guys know that I really love packing efficiently. Like it's kind of an obsession and I figured it was about time to update my packing video. So today I'm gonna start off with the basics, which is how to not overpack for a short trip and a longer trip. Keeping the amount of things that I have in my suitcase down to a minimum and also making sure that all of those things are organized really helps me remember what I packed so I know exactly what's in my bags and I just feel better about traveling and it reduces my anxiety level because I already have travel anxiety. So if I can minimize that even just a little bit by packing efficiently, then I'm all for it. So hopefully you find this video helpful if you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comments down below, but I guess we should just get into it. All right, starting with the carry-on, I'm gonna be packing for a trip that's about four days long. And I'm a huge fan of packing cubes, so you're gonna see several of them throughout this video. In this first packing cube, I'm going to start off with three casual t-shirts. Then I'm gonna add in a dressier top that can also be dressed down. This packing cube has two sides, so I'm gonna flip it over and throw in my pajamas. And in my small packing cube, I have my underwear and socks. For bottoms, I like having a couple of very different options. So I have a light pair of jeans and a black pair of jeans. This allows me to mix and match with the tops that I have. Next is toiletries, and I have to make sure that everything is travel size so that way I can carry it on the plane. I really love using my Glossier pouches because they have cushion around them, so everything is protected. Last but not least is a pair of shoes. And normally I will pack my dressier pair of shoes and wear my more casual pair of shoes onto the plane. So in this case, I have a pair of black kitten heels. I like to put those in a little bag so they don't get anything in my suitcase dirty. Now it's time to put everything in the suitcase. And as you can see, I don't put my pants in packing cubes just because I feel like pants can just kind of float around and nothing's gonna happen to them. I'd rather reserve my packing cubes for other things. For a heat styling tool, I like to pack either a straightener that can also curl my hair or a two-in-one curler straightener like I have here. This is also dual voltage, so I can use it anywhere in the world with an adapter. Now I'm gonna show you what I would wear on the plane. And I really try to think about things that I could also integrate into wearing on my trip. I have a pair of leggings that I really love because they're super comfortable and the waistband isn't too tight. And they can also double for workout pants when I'm traveling. A comfy t-shirt and an army jacket for an extra layer. A sweater that also doubles as a blanket. I also have my backpack and a pair of sneakers. All right, now let's move on to the checked bag. This is for a trip that is a week or longer. And typically what I do with a checked bag is I'll pack for a week. And if my trip is longer than that, I'll plan to do laundry at some point. It's a really great way to save space in your bag. So my first packing cube, I'm going to be packing casual t-shirts, just like last time, except I've added a few more. On the other side of the packing cube, I have a jumpsuit because I have extra room for more dressy options. And a jumpsuit is really great because they're comfortable and versatile. In my next packing cube, I have some workout clothes. So this time around, I'm actually able to pack a full outfit for working out. And then next to that, I have the same pajamas as before. I just have an extra top that I've thrown in. And then just like before, my small packing cube has underwear and socks in it. For bottoms, I have a few more options this time. I've added in a pair of distressed, looser fitting jeans. I have my pair of black jeans because those are always great to have. A pair of breathable linen-like pants because it is summertime. And sticking with the summer theme, a romper just in case it's really hot. For outerwear, I have an oversized comfy sweater that I can easily layer, and then my green army jacket. For shoes, I have the same heels as before because I always like having a dressier option. And then I have a pair of workout sneakers. These are really great for traveling because they're super light and don't weigh down my bag. Since I have a little bit more space, I like packing a clutch just in case I go out. And I have the same toiletries as before, plus a little bit more makeup. My plane outfit also doubles as a lounging outfit on my trip. So I have a pair of really comfy soft sweatpants, my gray blanket sweater, and a flowy striped top. 
For a little color, I'm throwing in my red jacket, and this is also something that's really great to use if I wanna dress up one night. And then I have my same backpack and shoes. And now it's time to put everything into the suitcase. And you can probably see that I definitely have some extra space, but I always like leaving a little wiggle room just in case I'm bringing things home on my trip. Now that the packing is out of the way, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about my luggage because it is away luggage. And I know that before I purchased mine, I had a lot of questions about it and it was hard for me to find reviews on things that I really cared about. Like, what does it feel like? Is it gonna get scratched? General wear and tear questions. What do the wheels feel like? Does it roll well? What is the quality of the inside like? So while there was no shortage of beautiful pictures of away luggage inside and out it was a little bit difficult finding out what people actually thought of the luggage and the wear and tear so that is what I'm gonna talk about this is the carry-on which is the smallest carry-on size that they offer and this is an international carry-on size so this should fit on every airline I also have the medium size and that's the larger suitcase that you saw in this video starting off with the pros I really love how the luggage looks it is very aesthetically pleasing this is the navy color in case you're wondering the wheels are really awesome they're 360 wheels so they really provide for a lot of movement which is awesome especially when you're traveling and you're carrying a lot of stuff plus there's four wheels which makes rolling even easier I also really love the lock system that's included on all away luggage. It's a TSA approved lock, so you can create your own code and then it easily locks in with the zipper. And if TSA needs to get into your bag, they have a key that can just pop it open, but no one else is able to get into your bag. On the carry-on, both the small one and the bigger one that they have, there's a charging system back here where you can charge your devices and you can also charge the battery that's inside. And this is something that I personally haven't used yet, but I think that it's a cool feature. I think the inside of the bag is good. It's not something that's super high quality feeling, but it gets the job done. And I also really love that there's a laundry bag that's included at the bottom. In addition to that, there is a compression system, which sounds a lot fancier than it actually is. It's really just those straps that you typically have in your suitcase that presses things down. And for the price, I do think this is a really great option for mid-range luggage. So it's definitely not as expensive as some high-end luggage out there but it's also not the cheapest option either. Ordering was really easy and shipping was really reasonable as well and I didn't have to wait that long for it. Things I don't like about away luggage slash some things to keep in mind. So while the luggage looks really amazing and they say that it's unbreakable, the material that they use is polycarbonate, which is really common with luggage because you're able to keep the weight down, but it is pretty strong. So it's not gonna break, but it scratches immediately so the first time that you use this especially if you're checking your luggage it's going to get scratched and you have to be prepared for that if that is something that you don't want to happen then maybe look into some other luggage because it really doesn't take much for this to get scuffs and scratches on it. If scuffs and scratches are something that you're wary about, I would definitely recommend going with the darker colors because it's less noticeable on the darker colors like the navy and the black. But once you start getting even into the medium colors like the gray or the lighter colors like the beige, those scratches are so much more noticeable. Now because the luggage is really lightweight it doesn't feel as sturdy as some other luggage that i've had like my to me luggage i love how my to me luggage feels really solid but it's also heavier because of that so you kind of just have to think about what you're looking for my to me luggage has lasted years and has held up really well i can't tell you how this is going to do in the long term because i haven't had it that long so i guess i'll just travel some more and we'll see how it goes but it definitely feels a lot more flimsy. But as you start to pack things into it more, it feels slightly more solid, but it's definitely not as solid as other luggage that I've used before. 
before. I am noticing that more and more people are getting away luggage. So when you get your bags at baggage claim, it can be really easy to confuse somebody else's bag as your own. So I would definitely recommend either putting stickers on your bag like I have. I have like little tiny stickers in specific places so I can check as the bag is coming out if that one is mine or you can even get things that are a little bit more vibrant, like little ribbons to tie on. There are bright handle covers that you can get, whatever floats your boat. They also have monogramming as well. So unless somebody has the exact same initials and chooses the exact same colors, that's another way that you can distinguish your bag from others. But keep in mind that that process takes longer, so it's going to be, I think at least a couple weeks before you get your bag. All right, so that is gonna be it for today. If you have any other requests for travel videos for me, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have more travel videos and more non-travel videos coming your way. I'll see you guys later. My feet are falling asleep, so I'm just gonna start moving my legs around to get the blood flowing. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.